Hey, it's Jesse Cervantes with Creative Congo, and welcome to the Top, top 10 After Effects Shortcuts short you, you Probably Didn't, didn't know. know! And uh, away we go. I'm going to put all of these in the notes section, so if you want to just grab them, and you can copy and paste them onto a piece of paper like this or something, that's what I usually do with any kind of expressions or anything like that. So I have it for reference. So the number one for me that I use all the time is the J and the K button. No joke, the J and the K button will bounce you back and forth. You can see it right down here from keyframe to keyframe. So that's my first and probably one of my absolute favorites using the J and the K button. The next one is the plus and minus button. That expands and contracts. I thought for the longest time the only way you could do it was with this little mountain thing down here to zoom in and out of your timeline. But in fact, uh, there is a better way. Plus and minus. All right. So using the shift and the plus and minus, you can cycle through the modes, the overlay and all of those. So you can see I'm just cycling right through the modes here and it's great. I love doing this and a fair warning you could spend an hour and a half trying to find the one you like. Cycling through the modes can be very very helpful and useful. That's the shift plus or minus key. The next one is the okay so I also am keeping this image highlighted here and I'm going to use my arrow key to move things right or left or up and down you know so if I want to move something but if you hold down the shift that makes it jump by 10. The next one is the, so if you hit the command arrow key, so that page up and down will move you up and down one at a time on the timeline. But if you hold command right or left arrow, it does the same thing. So command right and left arrow. If you hold shift command right and left arrow, you can jump 10 frames at a time. Shift command right, left arrow. The next one is control zero. That gives you your RAM preview. Uh, the next one is, oh, this is one of my favorites that I use pretty much in every project ever, and that is Shift Command D. So I'm, this is the, this is the boat, I believe, this layer, yeah. So hitting, sh highlighting that, holding Shift Command D splits the layer. So Command D will duplicate a layer, Shift Command D will split the layer. Let's say I'm going to hit Command Y, and just bring in a new solid and I just want this solid to end here. I can hit Shift Command D and then just delete the other one. So that's one way to handle that. The semicolon. And this one I did on, on accident one time when I was typing. Hit the semicolon and it expands the timeline basically as big as it can get for the screen. So you know you can use your plus and minus sign to make it small again. You can use, Or if you just want to make it really big immediately so you can see what's going on, hit the semicolon then you can go JK and move jump back and forth between keyframes. Oh, this is another one. This is, oh my, I love this one. Let's say I want to move some keyframes. I hit the keyframe, hit option, right and left arrow, and that will move just the keyframe. And shift option, right and left arrow, will move it by 10. So if you have a group of keyframes, let's say you have an animation, let's get this back here, and you realize that you've done everything a little bit too soon. You can highlight all the keyframes, hit Option, right arrow, or left arrow, and move just the keyframes without moving the current time indicator. The period and comma will expand and contract your screen. And finally, Alt or Option square brackets. I'm going to hit Command Y to make a new solid. If you hit Option and the square bracket, that cuts the makes the layer end exactly where the timeline now it, it's up to and including so I'm going to hit option square bracket and if I make this really big you can see that it go, is one frame further because it's up to and including the where you are in the current so if you want it to end exactly right here you should move back one option and then you know then it'll end there on the next frame and then the same thing in the other direction so I'll option I move over here where I want this thing to start option square bracket you know the open bracket and it cuts the la excuse me layer to there my goodness that was very rude and I apologize so those are my top 11 after, after the short, short cuts, cuts you, you probably didn't, didn't know. know thanks for watching I'm Jesse Cervantes with Creative Congo